So 10 years ago, Chromebooks, well, actually earlier than that, Chromebooks come out. But 10 years ago, I got the bug in me that I wanted to get a Chromebook because they look so cool and you could do so much with such a low powered computer. And so then uh, 10 years ago, I actually got one. I got this Acer uh, C720. And when I actually got it, after using it for just a few minutes, uh, I realized that Chromebooks were not for me. And so I set it away for a long time, basically. And then uh, I started having a USB drive problems. And then, so I was trying everything to erase USB drives because uh, my Windows machine wasn't working well for it. And so I took out that old Chromebook and uh, there's actually this setting, so recovery mode where the Chromebook will erase any disk without any questions. And so I started using the Chromebook to erase all those disks. And then just this last week, I pulled it out because I haven't used it for a while. I wanted to erase some USB drives and I turned it on, went to use recovery mode and the device is no longer supported by uh, Google. So for some reason, they can make a cloud ready uh, operating system, but they can't make it so it will work on one of their old uh, laptops anymore. So, so what I'm going to go over is how I found you can quickly install any operating system on this and uh, what I actually did for it. So let's get started. So what I remembered from 10 years ago was when I wanted to install a different operating system on this Chromebook, uh, basically Google has it so it's write protected. So what that means is that you cannot actually put a different operating system on there without going through some different steps. And so 10 years ago when this first came out, that, was, that process to get it on there wasn't really spelled out by Google and there wasn't a huge community yet on figuring out how to do it. So uh, all I remembered is that it was white, right protected and there was some screw that I needed to undo on the bottom. If you're following along on this, let me, let me show you some resources here first, okay? For hardware compatibility, in order to do this, you need to go to this galamus.org and the hardware compatibility list. And I'll leave links in the description to all the different websites you need to actually do this. Most Intel devices are supported, but not all. And ARM devices are not supported if you want to install a different operating system. Now, if we look over to the side, it, we can see the green is supported, firmware recommendations, and known issues. When I tried to do this 10 years ago, there wasn't any list like this where you could just look up your if your device was supported or not. Uh, there were just websites of like doing different commands and doing different things to actually uh, see if their device worked. Now, if we look where I've highlighted, see there's my C720, it's supported. Uh, it was made in 2013, has well chipset. It is supported, it's recommended that it gets a firmware update and there's no known issues. Now this actual laptop it has two cores and it has just two gigabytes of memory and then 13 gigabytes of storage. So for me, so Windows is not an option because Windows at least requires four gigabytes of memory. Also, I want to be able to erase things quickly just like I did on the old Chromebook. Now, if you do want to install Windows on your laptop, we're going to have to go to Reddit and we're going to this Chromebook to Ultrabook and we're going to click on get started read this first and so what they'll this will do is it has lists of devices that are supported along with the drivers that you need to run windows on it and if you notice here in order to run windows on a chromebook you have to be running mr chromebox's custom core boot ufi uh, firmware so mr chromebox seems to be some brilliant chrome uh, developer or at least chromebook developer that 
created his own BIOS or firmware to actually make it so you can actually boot into these different alternative operating systems for a Chromebook. And if we go to Mr. Chromebox Text and go to Supported Devices, if we scroll down, again, we have another list of devices. Here we can find our device and we can say, see it has two different firmware supported and then the write protect method is screw. The difference between the two firmwares, so the legacy firmware allows you to continue to use uh, the Chrome OS if you want to do that. In my case, it doesn't matter to me because it's not supported on this device anymore and it's just broken. Or you can use the Eufy firmware, which allows you to install any uh, operating system that you want. Now, if we go back here, we can see the write protective method is, is a screw. And if we scroll down farther, we can see that on newer models, it's the CR50, the difference between the two. So with a screw, you actually have to physically open up your Chromebook and take out a screw. So then you can go into developer mode, which then allows you to install the new uh, firmware for the device. The CR50 method is a software-based solution, which is on newer Chromebooks, which I'll show you that right now. So if we go to the Mr. Chromebox uh, wiki page, we can see we have disabling software protection, and that will give you the directions on how to do that. And I'll quickly show you how to uh, take out a screw. So if we go back to the Mr. Chromebox and we click on the screw over here, that will take us to the Chromium project, which if we scroll down to the bottom, will show us actually where the screw is. And if you can see here, number seven is white, right protect screw. So we need to remove that screw. So let's do that. So if we turn the Chromebook over, uh, we have a number of screws to remove. So on this one, they're all along here. And then we have two in the middle. One is underneath the sticker. Uh, once we've removed that, pop off the back case. And so the interesting thing about this Chromebook is the once you take the case off, the power actually goes off. So, so just pressing the power button on these Chromebooks does not turn them off. So you actually have to remove the, you have to remove the back case to actually uh, power off these uh, laptops. So next what we're gonna do is remove this screw. As you can see, it's right there underneath this cord. Pop the back cover on again, and I don't actually suggest putting in all the screws yet because in case it gets frozen, then you can just pop off the back cover to shut it down and then pop it, pop it back on again. So next what we're gonna do is go into recovery mode. And so for that, we're gonna push escape and the reset button, which is would be F3 and then the power button so next, after we're in recovery mode, we need to go into developer mode. And so to do that, we need to hit Control and D at the same time. There's no prompt. You have to know what to do. Uh, it will ask you to confirm and then reboot into developer mode. Once you're in developer mode, it's going to erase all the data on your Chromebook. And so make sure you get that all off before you actually do this. So once you've logged in in developer mode, we're going to, so we're going to press Control, Alt, and T. Then that will open the crash, I don't know why it's called the crash, C-R-O-S terminal on your Chromebook. And then you're going to log in as crash and then type in this command. So if we go back to the Mr. Chromebox text website and click on firmware utility script, we're going to type in this into our terminal. Now for me, I had to do it a little bit different than the directions for it to work. So for me, I had to put in the CD first, hit enter, and then 
and then I could run the rest of the command. Your mileage may vary, but there's a couple different options here for you to try out. So next you'll see this firmware installation screen. So we're gonna pick the Eufy full ROM install, and so this will allow us to install any OS onto the Chromebook. However, if you're wanting to keep the Chrome OS, this is not for you because it will, uh, your Chromebook won't be able to boot into the Chrome OS anymore. If you still want to use the Chrome OS, then click the legacy uh, ROM instead. So now for me, uh, I selected the full ROM install because I want to install a new operating system and Chrome OS does not work on this anymore. So, so I tried a couple of different uh, operating systems. So L Ubuntu, Mate, regular Ubuntu, X Ubuntu, Windows 11, which doesn't work, and Budgie Ubuntu. So out of these, L Ubuntu was the fastest, Ubuntu was the slowest, X Ubuntu was the second slowest. Mate and Budgie are two great choices. Uh, I picked, so I picked Budgie because it's pretty and it's pretty fast. Once you've inserted the USB drive of your operating system of choice, then you need to restart your computer and then we'll get to the boot menu. So we want to go down to boot menu, hit enter, and then select our USB drive, and then hit enter. So then you'll go about installing Linux as normal, or if you're using Windows, you want to install Windows and then add in the drivers from the Reddit page that I linked in the description below. If you installed the Budgie desktop, it will look something like this. I have modified it already a little bit, so it does uh, has a more Mac-like feel with the icons. So I would suggest with whatever operating system you're using that you do a minimal install and then just add in the programs that you need. You can uh, upgrade the hard drives on these and they're not very expensive. It's like $30 for a 250 gig hard drive. You do wanna be careful about how much you do install because let's look at the disk usage. So out of the 16 gig hard drive, we can see it's 69.6% .6 full or we just have 4.7 gigabytes left. So if you're wanting to use this for a daily driver, I would definitely add in a bigger hard drive. That's it for today. Hope you found this helpful. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.